Hello everybody. Welcome to yet another one of my stupid video tours of hotel rooms. Today I'm staying at the W Hotel in downtown San Francisco. Here we have the evacuation floor plan. Alright, so we just came in through the door. Here's the door. Lovely. And there's my shoes. We have this full full size mirror over here. That's awesome. I don't need that. It's a pretty spacious room, but it's also probably the fanciest hotel I've ever stayed in. So here, here we got the bathroom. The first thing you'll notice upon going into the bathroom is that they give me a robe. What am I going to do with this thing? Come on. Actually, I used it. It was all right. I don't really see what the big fuss is about. But everything here is fancy. Like, for instance, look, it says drink up. Five dollars. Like, everything has these weird tags on them. So you got to watch out for that. And these little washcloths. I mean, check out the the sink. The sink has these fancy fish swimming underneath it. I mean, if you look underneath, there's actually no fish there. It's just an imprint. But it looks pretty fancy. They give you all these weird little dudes. Well, even the soap is fancy. What do we have? Lemon and sage. French milled suds bar. Really? Soapy suds. Like, everything has these weird names on them. So that's weird. Toilet is standard issue. Shower is okay. They got this Californian thing going on with the shower where they have some crazy water conservation happening, and you can't really take a decent shower. They limit the water flow quite a bit. That one's got three settings. Um, all of them kind of suck. Like, you know, check out this art. Look, look at this. Rare species. Fly away. That's so clever. I don't know. They're kind of nice, though. Anyway, continuing. Got two pretty nice beds. Slept in them last. Slept slept in one of them last night. It's pretty nice. I didn't have any problems sleeping. And then we got this like weirdo cloud art on top of the beds. Eh. Okay. Here we go. Here's the closet. Closet's totally green. Who would have expected that? Oh man, I'm getting a phone call. Uh, no, go away. Ignore that. I'll be right back with you. Uh, safe. Safe is good. Had enough room for my laptop. Of course I would get a phone call in the middle of this. Let me wrap up here quickly. Here's the... Oh, man. This is my favorite thing in the room. So we've got this smiling Buddha thing. And underneath it it says, The greatest patience is humility. And you know what happens when you turn it on? Boom! Multicolor light changing what <laughs> it's the most baffling thing in this room by far oh, I didn't look in here what's in here oh there's your ice box inside this fancy cupboard in here we've got like a little snack snack bin look it here's another one of the little signs the mini bar machine box munchy box whatever and they have prices for all the things you can't really see them it's pretty small but we got all kinds of good stuff in here, none of which I want to... Oh, look, there's a first aid kit, which will cost money if you open. Oh, look at this. What is that? That's great. I thought it was going to be some tools. And they gave us some, like, weird books. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Ooh! Okay. All right. All right. Weird stuff in this book. Also, a whole bunch of, like, strange magazines. Oh, this one's a, a fashion magazine of some sort. This is called the Where Guest Book. Oh, and here, here, in case we wanted to be a beef eater. I don't know what's going on with this. A whole bunch of beers. Smiling Buddha, you're my only hope. Look, and they put these, like, crazy wine glasses in these holders and everything. What does this say? $38. Couple this wine with select cheeses and more. Just give in, in room dining a call. The perfect blend. Why not bring the party back to your room? See, they put these weird sayings on everything. What is this doing here? These little Chinatown dragons. Here's an ad for a... Acura. Oh, no, here, here's another sign. It says... Take it outside, please. Smoking in this room comes with a price. $200 to be exact. So I got no smoking room and they gave me this weird little placard. And uh, 
Here's a, a bookmark. Where was I? It says on it. This is like such a weird place. Oh, here's another drink up. Oh, with our compliments. Oh man, this one's with our compliments. I should take this. Here we go. We got a nice uh, view. You can see the Golden Gate Bridge out there. I, th I think that's the Golden Gate Bridge. And a bunch of buildings. I like this stuff. It's a nice, nice view. You can't really see it very well, but like directly ahead in the very center, there's like a small piece of art on that building directly ahead. A vertical piece of art. That is a uh, where's Waldo? That's Waldo. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing there. The only thing is these windows they don't open real nice. So you can get some light in. Get some light in for the video. Anyway, um, thermostat. And what else do we have? This place is so weird. Oh, the last thing I wanted to show is this. This this is like the hotel guide. Even the hotel guide is like stupidly fancy and kind of pretentious. Instead of having like a regular guide, it's got like a bunch of designer clothes and stuff. I, I guess it's got some, yeah, mostly clothes and cars and weird stuff. But it is the hotel guide because somewhere in here it talks about like call this number if you need a, a dude. Yeah, I I have no idea. Well, that's a ad for a watch. Now you know you're in the wrong place. Oh, look at this one. This one folds out. It's an ad for three watches. Great. Yeah, well. Yeah. And what's... What, what is all this? Right at the bedside. So, some of these places have, like, a Bible down here. I don't think I've seen a Bible in this place. Not that I'm complaining, necessarily. So. And we're going to close it by going back to the Smiling Buddha. Thank you. Patience is indeed the greatest humility. All the way around. The greatest patience is humility. The W Hotel in downtown San Francisco. Hooray!